So, welcome to episode two of Pimp My Printer. This episode, we do some things to make it a little bit more convenient and solve a few of our minor problems. And we do it with nothing but printing and a few pieces of hardware. So let's get going. One of the first things I printed after I got the other stuff printed was a new spool holder. Now, for anyone who's curious, a spool holder isn't always necessary. The one that comes on the CR-10 is plenty fine. But this rolls a little easier and allows me to put a spool wherever I need to on the desk. So if I'm working on the printer, I can just simply roll it away without much of a headache. And if I want to move this around, it's much better. It also holds by a simple adjustment knob much more easily, just about any size filament you want. So that's part one. It just clips together. I'm not going to bore you with the time lapse. So let's move on to the next thing we did. The next things we put in here is this uh, brain box holder. Now it screws onto the bottom of the brain box, raises it up. The reason I did this was that when the Z-axis went up and down, we had some issues with the wires getting a little tight and I didn't want to worry about it. By raising it up about six inches, I solved that problem. The next nice part about this is we have drawers. Has two of them, which makes me feel better about not wasting space underneath it. Gives me a little bit more space. The frame of the brain box holder is simply assembled by sliding pieces together. This is fairly easy. You just don't use too much pressure so you don't break them. The drawers are printed in two pieces vertically. One is the front, the other is the main part of the drawer. To assemble them, you just simply fill this small gap you see around here with super glue, and then insert the drawer into that slot and let it dry. You do need some hardware, some of that is bearings. These bearings aren't standard skate bearings, they do tell you what you need in the thing listed in Thingiverse, I'll give a link below. With all the bearings in, I simply test fitted the drawers to make sure they all fit together. They're a little snug, but should wear in over time. To attach the frame to the brain box, you have to remove the brain box feet. This is done with one of the Allen wrenches provided with your CR-10 kit. You need to do it to all four feet before proceeding on. I removed the spool holder on top of the brain box, allowing it to be laid flat on its roof so it would be easier to attach the frame of the two-door assembly to the box. Once again, you'll need some special hardware that they tell you about in the thing on Thingiverse. In this case, I'm lining up the holes and then I'm inserting the screws they recommend to purchase. I found that it was easier to buy 100 of these than it was to buy 10 as the price was virtually identical. With everything assembled, I inserted the drawers and got ready to put it to use. Now we did add one other piece of hardware which was just a plug-in we picked up off eBay and this will change when we go to Octoprint. It's a remote full-size SD card reader. Now I picked it up I think for three bucks off eBay and waited about a month for it to arrive but it's here and it makes life a lot easier. It also prevents wear and tear on the card reader in the box which apparently some reports say has been commonly breaking. We did one last thing and that's over here and I'll show that to you. Now this is our camera holder. It's not hooked up to anything right now. It's just a standard webcam holder. But when we add the OctoPrint, which will be in episode three of Pimp My Printer, this will allow us to monitor the prints remotely and do some time lapses. You could also, if you had a PC up here, hook it up and run your time lapses right from there without a problem. 
but this should make life a little easier and keep me from running up and down steps several times. All right, so those are the mods we made to the printer so far. Like I said, there'll be another one with OctoPrint coming in and another one where, another episode where we put some new fans in it to quiet it down some. We might be adding a second Z access rod for taller prints, but we haven't decided on that yet. Quick, snap together spool holder. Spool holder took all together probably about 20 hours of print time. We used a .2 for layer height and about 60% infill on these parts up here and 40 down here only because we have a kilogram of filament going on here at any given time, maybe more. We want to make sure it doesn't fall apart. For this, the outside components, we went with a, once again, 0.2 layer height. We went with 60% infill because it is holding the brain box up. The shelves are actually, or drawers, are actually printed solid. So there's no infill on those. The camera holder, the final thing, is once again, 0.2 mil layer height. It, has, it is 40% infill seems to be holding up really well and the camera is just zip tied to it. So that's for this episode. In the upcoming episodes we have Octoprint, new fans, and who knows, maybe we'll, you know, paint the frame or something, some bizarre color, just to give it a little pop. So stay tuned for the next episode of Pimp My Printer and I'll see you then.